We walk around like we own this place, like we own this place, we walk around. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video I'm going to be showing you the solo Benny's merge glitch uh, or F1's uh, merge glitch. Uh, it is still working car to car service but a quick word from today's sponsor. Are you guys looking for money and RP services in GTA Online? If you are, check out the links down below DigiZanny and DGZ Gold. You can also use code SG to get 5% off. Let's get it. So it's very easy and fast to do. So you want to be in an invite only session and you want to go inside your bunker and then back out again. That is the first step. Uh, very easy. You only need to do the bunker part once and then you can keep merging after that. But if you leave the session, you will need to go in and out of the bunker to start off the glitch. So when we're inside, all we do is simply drive outside. So there we go. And yeah, Again, we just simply drive outside, and once you spawn outside, you're just gonna make your way over to your auto shop. So obviously you need an auto shop and the mod shop inside to custom your vehicles, and you also need to have the customer service vehicle bays. And inside your auto shop, you wanna make sure you have a car with the mods on, so Benny wheels or F1s, so I want F1s, so I'm gonna get in the car with the F1s. You would simply get in the car with the Bennys on that you want. Then all you want to do from here is hit right on the D-pad, take it into the mod shop. And once we are in the mod shop, you do not need to change anything, you just simply back out. Let's get it. So yeah, once you've done that, you just simply get out of the car and we will be joining Titan of a job, but not right away. We want to walk up to the vehicle that we want to put the mods on, that is in our customer service bay. So we're going to make our way there now and weirdly I've got two of the same car so <laughs> it doesn't really matter which one I go for and yeah you want to stand in front of it so you have the options at the top left and then you're going to simply start up tight another job. And obviously this glitch will cost you money guys because you will be purchasing the vehicles. We just mod the vehicles first and then we purchase them. So to me, it's kind of worth it because, yeah, I know you've got to spend money, but you're getting modded vehicles and it feels good paying for them in a weird way. Um, so once you're in the job, you simply back out and spam right D-pad. There we go. Perfect. That actually looks pretty cool. Um, so there we go. We've modded the modifications over. Um, I'm talking all the upgrades, the color, and obviously the F1 wheels. So from here, you will need to purchase it. You can get a lot of cheap cars on, on these customer service bays, but you can also get very expensive cars like the GP1, uh, the Frax. And then after, guys, all you need to do is just simply put the car wherever you want the car. So I'll skip ahead. We're going to head outside, call the mechanic and request the car just to, you know, for anyone that hasn't seen this boss, before, prove wheels? to you that it around. has 100% worked. So there we go. So the car the was the Vamos, Vamos, I think that's how you say it. And yeah, that's what we've just requested and it should be all good. So again, you can just go ahead and do the glitch again. You do not need to go um, to the bunker again. Um, if you have another car in the customer service bay, obviously, you can just boom go straight away and do it again but there we go guys fully working still i did think it was patched until i tested it just a little while ago but we are all good thanks for watching i'll catch you guys next time we walk around like we own this place like we own this place we walk around